الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الحبة في الله Sometimes we get bad impressions about what the da'wah to Salafi is, what the da'wah to Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah is. And we must never get discouraged even if others are trying to drive you away from the da'wah to Ahl al-Sunnah. Even if there are people who consider themselves from Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah who are trying to dr drive you away, see you're a mubtidi, or we saw you with so-and-so, we saw you with such-and-such -such tape in your library or such-and-such -such book on your bookshelf. And they try to discourage you from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This will be upon them. It's not upon you. But it's upon you to correct yourself if you've fallen into legitimate error, legitimate mistakes. And so with that, we have to always ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for ikhlas with thabat, with sincerity and firmness upon the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. Because the Prophet وسلم, let us know that the Siratullah al Mustaqim is one, that the path is one. Especially when he drew in the sand, uh, in the hadith, Khatta lana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khatta, khatta, thumma khatta ala yamini wa khatta ala yasari. The Prophet وسلم, drew a line in the sand, and then he drew one on the right and the left. And when he drew the one in the middle, <clears throat> the first, the original line, he said, Hadha Sabilullah. This is the path of Allah. Meaning that's the path that's going to get you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Salatullah Mustaqeen. Making this, uh, this metaphor, this uh, analogy, if you would like to call it. So letting us know that this is a straight path, is a straight path for all of us to follow. And that when you go to the right and to the left, these are the ways of deviation, as the Prophet ﷺ said. And at the head or at the top of each one of those paths is a shaitan that calls you to it, calls you to this group, calls you to that sect, calls you to this hizb. So never get discouraged from the Sibid Allah. And know, as the Prophet ﷺ said, on how we should deal with our differences. First and foremost, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, then return it to Allah and His Messenger. That it should be based on ilm and fiqh. It should go back to the Quran and the Sunnah if you have differences with someone or differences with a group of individuals. Return it to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. And the Prophet said in the hadith where he said at the end of the hadith, he said, Whoever lives after me will see many differences. Then it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat. That is the straight path that we're trying to traverse. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah bless us with tawfiq. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us not to get discouraged and to continue firm on his path. And always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance to be protected from misguidance and the people of misguidance. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.